a statement which is either true or false but not both at the same time is nothing but proposition all those logical connective includes compound proposition only because we are connecting two simple proposition which becomes a compound propositions if p is true and q is false in all other cases it is considered as true for example you can take here you can look at the truth table here i have written the truth values Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am, lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So welcome to the first session of the chapter, Mathematical Logic. So in this session, we will be studying about the propositions and truth values, logical connectivities. What is this proposition, truth values, logical connectivities? Before that, let's see what do you mean by logic. A logic is nothing but the principles of reasoning. It gives you a valid conclusion using the valid assumption. So logic was first introduced by Aristotle. Later, it was developed by George Boulay and D. Morgans in those theories. So what do you mean by mathematical logic? Mathematical logic is a mathematical process which gives you a valid conclusion for a set of valid assumptions. Now, here we come across different terminologies. So let's study all those logical terminologies and concepts related to mathematical logic in our session today. Now I said proposition. A proposition is a statement, either it is true or it is false, but it cannot happen true or false both at the same time. So, for example, phi is a prime number, root 2 is an irrational number. Phi is a prime number, true, root 2 is an irrational number, true. If I say 3 is irrational number, it is false. If I say 1 is a prime number, it is false again. So, a statement which is either true or false but not both at the same time is nothing but the propositions. Then what do you mean by truth values? A statement which is either true or false but not both at the same time is nothing but proposition. The statement which includes questions, exclamatory or expressions, they are not considered as propositions. Example, whether is lesson today. So we are expressing something here. Wish you a good luck, which is an exclamatory statement. A statement which have questions, exclamations and expressions of opinion are not considered as propositions. Next we come across truth value. So what do you mean by the truth value? The truthfulness or the falsity of the proposition is nothing but truth value. If the statement is true, it is denoted by T. If the statement is false, it is denoted by F. These are all called as the truth values. Next, we come across logical connectivities. Logical connectivities are the connectives which connects simple proposition. But what do you mean by simple proposition? A simple proposition is a statement which cannot be split into two or more statement. For example, set of natural number is infinite. You cannot split this statement into two other statement. And here New Delhi is in India. Here also I cannot split the statement. They are called as simple proposition. Next we have a compound proposition. Compound proposition is opposite to simple proposition. It is made up of two or more simple propositions. Example, if x belongs to A, y belongs to B, then x belongs to A union B. Clearly, the first statement, the first half of the statement is one simple proposition, we can say. The second half of the statement is another simple proposition. They are combined together using if then. So look here, if the statement, then again the statement. The second example, you can take it as mathematics is easy. 
or it is not raining today. Both are two simple proposition, but they are connected together using the word are. So these are nothing but logical connectives. We have several logical connectives in mathematics. Let's study them one by one. The very first one is conjunction. So conjunction is literally given by the symbol like this. We have two statements. One statement is P, another statement is Q. The conjunction is denoted using this. The truth value of the statement or a compound proposition. So all those logical connective includes compound proposition only because we are connecting two simple proposition which becomes a compound propositions. Now suppose we have two statements, one is P and one is Q. Okay. What does the conjunction connectivity says? It says P and Q. This is also called as P and Q. P and Q is true. If both the components are true, in all other cases, it will be false. So we have a conjunction statement or a conjunctive connectivity is known. That is, if you have two statement, P and Q is true only if both are true. Otherwise, in all the cases, the connection is false. For example, E is a oval. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So therefore, I can write the conjectivity E is an oval and 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Why I am writing this statement? This is possible to write only if both the statements are true. Otherwise, you cannot write the conjunction. In all the other cases, it is false. So P is true, Q is true, then P and Q is true. So this is what the conjunctive property. We have a truth table for this also to study the conjunctive in a better way. So we have here P. I'll write the conditions in the form of true, true, false, false. Q may be true, false, true, false. So like this only you can consider two statement. Maybe both are true. Maybe both are false. One is true. Other is false. Other is true. One is true. So now what does P and Q says? P and Q is true. Only when both the statements are true, in all the other cases, it is false. So this is how we analyze using a truth table. This is called as the truth table. So this is how we will understand the conjunctive connectivity. The next one is disjunction. So what does the disjunction says? The compound proposition disjunction is false when both the components are false in all the cases, it will be true. So the disjunction is false if both are false. Otherwise, it is true. You can observe through the truth table. Here we have P, Q, P or Q. So here both are true. It is true. One is true. So therefore, it is true. One is again here false and true. It is true. Both are false. It is false. So this is false when two of the simple proposition statements are false. In all the other cases, it is true. So therefore, you can take an example here. Root 2 is irrational. 9 is a prime number. The first statement is true. The second statement is false. So I can write the disjunction. So if P is a true proposition, Q is a false proposition, the compound proposition P or Q, hence it is true. So it is true. The disjunction is true. Whenever any one of the statement is true, the disjunction connectivity is true. Otherwise, it is false. So the next one is negation. So what do you mean by negation? The negation of a proposition. So writing exactly opposite to the given proposition is nothing but the negation. So if P is a proposition, then not P is called as the negation. It is denoted by this symbol. Now here example I have taken. Calculus is difficult. I have given a statement calculus is difficult. How to negate it? Calculus is not difficult. That means if you understand this with the help of truth table, if P is true, then negation will be false. If P is false, then negation will be true. So clearly, Calculus is difficult. If you considered it as true, calculus is not difficult may become false. 
if you take calculus is difficult as false, then calculus is not difficult becomes true. So like this, it is exactly opposite to the given statement. Next one, we have the conditional, it is also called as implication. So that means one statement implies the other statement. It is separated by using if then, if P then Q we write. So how this conditional statement is denoted using the symbol P implies to Q like this any one of the symbol is used. So what is this conditional now? So if P implies Q is false, if the antecedent P we call, if we have two statement, P implies Q, we call P as an antecedent. So what is the meaning of this conditional means? This will be false if P is true and Q is false. In all other cases, it is considered as true. For example, you can take here, you can look at the truth table here. I have written the truth values. P as true, true, false, false. Q as true, false, true, false. What does the conditional say? If P is true, Q is false, then P implies Q is false. This is the definition you can consider. In all other cases, it is considered as true only. Next we have a connective called biconditional. It is called as double implication. So what does this biconditional says? If P and Q are two simple proposition, then the compound proposition, if and only if, here we consider if and only if Q. There in the condition we use if then statement. Here we are using if and only if statement which is nothing but biconditional. It is denoted by this symbol. Both sides we have implications, hence it is called as double implication, is called biconditional or double implication. So what does this biconditional means? So biconditional here, P implies Q is true when both the components P and Q are having the same truth values, otherwise it is false. So what does this biconditional say? If we have two simple statements P and Q, the statement will become true if both are having the same truth values. That is, if P and Q are having true, then it is true. If both are false, then it is true. In all other cases, it is false. It is exactly opposite to the conditional, but there if one statement is true, other statement is false, then only it is false. In all the other three cases, it is true. But here it is true if both the statement have the same truth values, either both should be true or both should be false. In other cases, it is considered as false. So here is a simple logical table. I have taken all the connectivities here. So we have P, Q. P is considered as true, true, F, F, true, F, true, true. So what does P and Q, conjunction says? P and Q, a conjunction. So this is true only if the two statements are true. So you can observe only in the first case it is true. In all the other cases it is false. Next we come across a disjunction. That is we can consider P or Q. So disjunction means it is false if both the statements are false. In all the other cases, it is true. So both the conditions are false. It is false. In all the other cases, it is true. Next is negation. Negation is exactly opposite to statement. Here I have taken negation of only one statement. Negation is used only for one simple proposition. So I have taken negation of P here. So if P is true, it is false. True, again false, 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 then it is true, true. So this is our negation, that is not P. Next we come across conditional. So conditional, P implies Q. So what does P implies Q says? P implies if P is true, Q is false, then the statement is false. In all the other cases, it is true. So let's see the condition, P is true, Q is false, only then it is false. In all the other cases, it is true. 
Next, we come across a biconditional. What does biconditional statement say? If both the proposition have the same truth values, then only it is true. In all other cases, it is false. So let's see for biconditional. So biconditional, so it is true when both are true. Again, it is true when both are false. In all other cases, it is false. So this is how we can write the truth table with the help of all these truth values. So in this session, we have learned what do you mean by proposition and truth values and we have learned the concepts of all logical connectivities. We will try to solve the problems related to all these concepts in our next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.